Hello everybody, my name is Aspen, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown, Episode 6. Uh, last time we did things. We're going to... I, last time we had this bad mission. I'm pretty sure that's the episode where I failed. One side, there's an alien. But I'm pretty sure that was the episode where I just failed miserably and got like four people killed in one mission. It was not the best way that could have happened, but... I don't know, it's more of a learning experience. You know, you gotta have one bad mission for the rest of the missions to go better. Let's just make sure we shoot down the spaceship and don't die. We are gonna shoot it down, right? Apparently the UFO escaped. That's, that's an issue. Uh, oh, we got a... What's that, secret autopsy? Ghost grenade. Mimic scan. Does that make us invisible? We just had chemical physical changes. What is this? I don't actually know what that does. Yeah, invisibility grenades. That's. I, I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna go engineering. What is. This. That automatically detects chemical physical changes. Oh, it's for the uh when they when the guys get strangled they can live a little bit longer. I think that's what that's for. And everything's gonna take forever because we have like no scientist. Let's get thin man. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, they seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. Also, they look nothing like human beings. Anyway... We're just gonna wait for a mission. I'm pretty sure Mexico. Wait, just one sec. The council reports in 14 days. I'm just wanting to see who's probably gonna leave the XCOM. Mexico is. I don't know. I hope that we they they don't go away. Okay. Anyway, let's see. Let's deal with these alien abductions. United Kingdom. Like, and we need scientists. So I'm going to go here anyway, but also they do have the most panic, so it just makes sense to go here. Let me see. We have, cor we have a corporal and a bunch of squaddies and a rookie. Who okay, so we got two heavies, a support, which we should have a med kit. We don't have a med- why do we not have a med kit? Okay, there we go. This is on one of the wounded soldiers. And then I guess we should be fine here. I wish I... I probably should get more scopes. Like, I think scopes are probably just better than grenades. But then again, grenades have been... Very, very useful so far. In my whole... You know, doing the whole XCOM mission things. Because I've been... They've, they've killed a lot of aliens for us. So... They're going to be really useful. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. When do we get the upgrade to actually get more soldiers? Because there's an upgrade that allows you to get... Okay, there's a metal canister over there, so that's probably the direction we're going to be going in. But when do we get the... I, think, I don't remember what the actual thing is called, but it's in the barracks, and there's... Not stabilized. And there, there's, a, there's an upgrade that allows you to have more soldiers in your squad, like five and six eventually. And I don't know when we actually get that. And that'll probably be very useful. 
But then again, it just allows us to get more people killed in a mission. Oh, a bunch of Florida just popped through the door. Okay. There's like three floaters right here, so... Oh, I'm definitely going to use this rocket and maybe kill four aliens in one shot. Please be the greatest rocket of all time. Okay. That was the, indeed the, the greatest rocket of all time. So now we just got to advance closer to the meld. Hopefully we don't alert any more aliens, even though you know you think they'd all be alerted by this time anyway, because you know, of all the rocket explosions. Uh, I'm going to just advance probably... I'm not going to go too far out, just going to go right here. And then probably put the other two people on Overwatch. Okay, so melt's here. Where's the other melt canister? It's probably in this direction where all those floaters came from. Okay. Can anyone even get to the meld right now? Well, you can next turn. So I'm going to dash you. It might be a little bit risky. Oh, there's two seekers. Are they going to cloak this turn or no? Yeah, no, they definitely cloaked. Huh. That's an issue because I hate those guys. So let's... You get behind this truck. And I get... We're going to put you on Overwatch? We're going to put you on Overwatch. Then I'm going to advance you a little bit closer because, you know, you don't really need to be behind cover to deal with the Seekers because, you know, they're just... They're invisible in their melee units. So it really doesn't make that much of a difference. But I just really, really hate the Seekers and the fact that something just happened over there. And I don't know what it is. Oh, hey, look, there's a Seeker. Did we not get an Overwatch? Does the Overwatch just not work here, I guess? Oh, where's the other... Okay, so we do get two Overwatches on this one. We got two terrible Overwatches on that one. How come the other one didn't get an Overwatch, though? That's what I don't get. Oh, wait, no. Uh, apparently, they are ranged. I did not know that. Oh, good. Okay, so then this is kind of an issue. Wait, you actually don't have a shot on this one? How do you not have a shot? Moving. Okay. We need to kill this one right, right now. Okay, two... Oh, stop the strangling. 21%. Okay, first, get the meld. First, no, get the meld. I know it's... I know, I know game. It's a little bit tricky to do. Okay, we got the meld. She's probably going to miss the shot. And I don't, I don't trust her. I'm going to run this guy. Even though we're going to get flanked. We should have a good chance to kill this one. Okay, we did kill it. Which is basically the, all I could have hoped for. Ah, and this one guy. He's going to be definitely an issue. What shot? You have 37? That's pretty bad. I'm going to overwatch. I'm going to have to use a rocket here. Because that's basically all I can do. To get the kill and make sure this person does not die. Or this person. Just make sure nobody dies. I have to use a rocket there. Another three sec toys to get alerted. Well, that's, you know, that's an issue. Actually, it might not be that big of an issue. It does look like they're, they're, it looks like they're retreating. Just hopefully nobody dies. That's all I can really hope for. And these might be, oh, there's the final melt too. These might be the final aliens of the level. Which would be very nice. Hopefully we do get an overwatch somewhere. Okay, we don't get an overwatch at all. Okay, good mess, good mess. Ah, uh, but now we got, there's so many overwatches right now. 30%, 30%, 50% to kill two. I like those odds. Okay, so that's two, two dead, one shot. Uh, can we just, okay. 25% chance. I can't move because she's got Overwatch. And you th you can't throw a girl. Oh, you can maybe blow up the truck, and the truck might kill the sectoid. This might be a long shot. Well, the truck's on fire. If we throw another grenade... I know this might, this might seem dumb to do, but I think it could work. 
It did not work at all. Okay. Well, that was dumb. Overwatch is probably would have just been objectively better. Maybe we can get a super lucky shot here. Oh, we actually, we actually did get a super lucky shot here and actually killed them both or killed those guys. Surprisingly, that worked out okay. I was expecting to lose one of those soldiers or at least, you know, not get the hit. There's some really good shots in that round or in that mission. Like before we've had a bunch of times where the where it was just terrible and we got like no kills whatsoever. But here, we actually did pretty good for ourselves. Oh there we go, the optional training school. That's what I was looking for. Oh, but do I have to build it? Ah, oh, that sucks. We got two wounded, but somebody we do got a corporal. Or a sergeant actually. Suppression is gonna be super useful. And running gun. Oh we got another assault. What I want is another sniper. But I don't think that's going to happen at all. We will be watching. Okay. Build facility. I need this officer training school. That's 125 credits. Where am I going to get that kind of money from? Is there another? Oh, Egypt's now in the red too. Hmm. This, this wouldn't be that bad if I did not screw up that council mission last time. And there's nothing I can really sell. I know I haven't researched this, but it might be worth it just to get those extra soldiers on our squad. But then again, that's going to cost us money too that we just don't have. So I'm going to keep that. Actually, I also have two. I might, I might, it might seem dumb. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. What? Okay, whatever. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, uh, let me check the barracks. Use soldiers. I did, I did hire more soldiers. I forgot I did that before I actually started this. And I do have four medals to give out. Like, those soldiers did arrive, right? Yeah, okay. So who do we get? Uh, I think we got the Scottish man. We hired three soldiers. I don't remember which three we got. Yeah, I know Egypt's really mad at us. And they're scared. That's fine. It's fine. Just don't worry about it. Did main ops actually should be done pretty soon. Thirteen hundred dollars for four ghost grenades. How much do ghost grenades cost? Ah, uh, they cost a lot, and I have none of the materials for it. Okay, never mind. I was thinking I could maybe easily build four and then sell them. That's clearly not going to happen. Gas grenade. Gas grenades might be useful too. I can't even research that. Also, I'm sure you can make the connection yourself. We've designated this particular specimen as a floater. The research team is continuing in its efforts to determine how the aliens prevented the organic tissue from rejecting the mechanical components, as they seem to work in perfect harmony with one another. Okay. Gas grenades. How much do they cost? Because those, those could be really useful. 24. Arc thrower. I know I need to do this. 13. I think almost equipping all of our soldiers with scopes might be for the best. Nanofiber fast. It gives us more health. Flashbang grenades. That doesn't seem useful at all, really. We're going to need, we need to get one now. We have to get an arc thrower at some point, so we might as well do it, you know, right now. We're just going to wait for our activity to scan, and then we're probably going to end the episode Breaking once we get a new mission. Reports from around the globe indicate a shift in the alien phenomena now affecting cities worldwide. We're now receiving word of outright attacks. Looks like they've changed their tactics. But why? Why do this? It's a message to the entire world that nothing can stop them.
Great, great, wonderful. Is this is this the mission? Well, the one of the worst enemies in the game we're about to show up. So I'm gonna end the episode here, and then next time we can deal with that, and hopefully things will. As long as we just, we just can't fail. If we fail, we're gonna lose the game. That's basically how this is going to work. So thanks everybody for watching. Uh, tune in next time and see probably all my soldiers die. Goodbye.